In the last couple of lessons, we were looking at electroplating, which is where you take a material such as a spoon and then you coat it with another material such as silver, for example. And we looked at the metal and how you can convert your third place metal into a second place and a first place metal. That was called electroplating. Okay, now we're looking at something different. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at electro refining. To refine means to make pure, to make something pure. Okay, so the way it works is the following Let's say we were walking on the beach one day and we came across, I don't know, an abandoned shipwreck, for example, that had washed upon the beach. And we pick up a piece of metal. And we can see that in this metal, or in this piece of stuff, we've got some iron, we've got some zinc, and we've got some copper. Did you know that there is a way that we could take all of the copper out of that metal and leave the zinc and the iron behind? Now, of course, you could take a hammer and you could maybe knock the zinc and the iron off. But what if it's all mixed together in one big substance? How would we only get the copper? Well, that is what we're going to look at in this lesson. And this is where electro refining comes into play. Our goal is to try to take this copper over here and get it out of this material and get it over here so that it can form a big thick layer of copper over here. So what we do is we start off with a pure piece of copper, just a thin little piece of copper that we'll put over there. And then we need to have some type of solution that has copper in it. So we'd use copper nitrate. We always use nitrates. Nitrates are just very soluble. They work really nicely. But what we must remember is that copper nitrate is broken up into copper 2 plus and NO3 minus. But I'm going to ignore the nitrates. They're just spectators. They're not really going to do anything. So I'm going to have a couple of coppers over here. And then, of course, we need a battery. And now we are going to switch the circuit on. And let's try and see what's going to happen. So we switch the circuit on. What would happen is the following. This here is the positive terminal of the battery. What the positive terminal of the battery does is it's like a vacuum cleaner which sucks electrons. And so it's going gonna, it's gonna to force this copper and the zinc and the iron to give away electrons. But it might not be able to do it to all of them. It depends on how strong the battery is. So we are interested in copper. So what we do is we go down to copper and we see that the voltage is 0 0.34. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a 0 0.34 volt battery. And that will be strong enough to cause the copper to give away its electrons. So this reaction would take place over here. So copper would turn into copper 2 plus plus two electrons. And can you see those two electrons get released and they go up through the wire like that. Okay, but we have a little bit of a problem because this battery is actually going to be strong enough to cause the zinc and the iron to oxidize. Because check this out. Everything above copper, look at the voltage values. They are lower, and some of them are even negative, which means that they are going to oxidize very easily. But if we, if we look further down, we would see that these voltages are much larger. And so though, if we had any of those substances, our battery wouldn't be strong enough. So our battery is going to be strong enough to oxidize copper and anything else that is above because their voltages are much lower, okay? So we have a little bit of a problem, because check this out. Copper, I mean zinc, is over here, so its voltage is negative 0 0.76. What that means is that 0 0.34 is much bigger, and so 0 0.34 volts is going to be enough to cause zinc to oxidize. And so I'm gonna write that reaction over here. So zinc is gonna be oxidized, and 
iron is going to oxidize as well. Now we'll typically use the iron with a plus 2, so that's negative 0,44. So our battery is strong enough to oxidize iron as well. And so that's going to be Fe turns into Fe2 plus plus two electrons. And so now in our solution, we've got copper ions, we're going to have iron ions, as well as zinc ions. And guess what? Because this terminal over here is negative, it means that this terminal here is going to be negative. This electrode is negative. And so all of these ions are going to be attracted there. So the Fe is going to go there, the copper is going to go there, and the zinc is also going to go there. And a little bit of a competition is going to take place. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to circle each of our ions. So we've got Fe2+, plus, we've got copper 2+, plus, and we've got zinc. Now there's going to be a competition. Now to work out who wins, you need to look at this arrow. The one that is lower down is going to win. Aha! And to have a look here, guys, copper 2+, plus is going to win. And so the reaction that's going to take place over there, sorry, I circled the wrong one. I meant to circle this one. But nonetheless, it's still going to win. And so we know that over here, copper 2 plus, plus 2 electrons, is going to give us copper. So the battery was strong enough to oxidize all of them. But then when we're looking at the reduction part, we don't look at the battery anymore. Then we just look at this arrow and we see which one is the strongest oxidizing agent. And that is going to be copper 2 plus. And so copper 2 plus is going to convert into pure copper. And so we're going to get pure copper forming over here. So guys, in an exam, they love to ask this. They love to ask, well, they love to see whether you can understand that the zinc and the iron are going to oxidize. However, they are not going to, sorry guys, I see over here I made a mistake. That was meant to be zinc turns into zinc 2 plus plus 2 electrons. And then on the other side, the, the, the Fe2+, plus, the Zn2+, plus, and the Cu2+, plus, they are all going to compete, but luckily Cu2+, plus will win because it's lower down on the left-hand side of the table. So it's, a, it's the best oxidizing agent. And so over time, what we can see is that we've taken the copper out of this solution, and we've, or out of that metal, and we've placed it over here. And so what we can say is that this is going to be pure copper. And so we have made it pure. And that is what electro-refining is all about.